Um, next, I'd like to introduce you to David Taki Taki. He is a political science professor at Ferris State University. David. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Tanya. I'm here to talk to you about Tanya as somebody who has really gotten to know her in the last several months. Um, I'm very familiar with community organizations, very familiar with politics, something that I do, something that I love, something that I teach. And everyone in this room, I get the feeling by your attendance here today, is a giver. You're involved in your communities. You sit on boards, you attend events, you care and give of yourself for the people around you. You work to make a lasting impression and leave something behind. All of you who have been that kind of a giver know that these organizations that we're a part of, they have different kind of moving parts, different components. You've got people who are there for the meetings and will write a check, but maybe who can't give you the time. You've got people who are very, very interested and, and, and want to show up, but maybe their life sets them aside. And then at every organization, You've got those people who are really the engine. They're the people who show up early, who make sure that everything is where it needs to be, who take care of everyone else. Maybe they're the people who founded the organization and really got that ball rolling. Maybe they're the people who, when everyone else thinks something can't happen, or that the hill is too high, the road too long, they're the ones who stay in it. Those engines are rare. They're not people you find every day. Some engines are loud, some engines are, are, are weak, but the kind of quiet, strong engine that can take a seemingly hopeless cause and make it a reality is a precious, precious thing. And that is why I have found in time. It should come as no surprise to those of you who know her that the engine that Tanya Kabbalah is would be both green, sustainable, and incredibly efficient. <laughs> it is an absolute pleasure to work with her. She is a natural collaborator. And as we have discussed her campaign and her works, everything she has been about has been about reaching out, building bridges, and making permanent, lasting change. The kind of change that our children and grandchildren will be able to experience in this community. When I pick a candidate, and I'm quite choosy, I look for somebody who is going to be able to carry that kind of a message into Lansing and make a difference no matter what the political landscape there looks like. I want somebody who's going to stick with it, who's not going to compromise their principles, and who's not going to forget where they're from. I found that candidate the first time I talked to Tammy Kabbalah. She will be a superb representative in Lansing for all of us and for the future of the 91st District. But she cannot get there alone. She is now an engine and we're asking her to step out onto a stage and fight for us. She needs our assistance. She needs the ammunition to win that fight. She needs our love and our continued support. By being here today, you've taken that first step. You've become part of her team, and I want to thank you for that. Now, as we move on from this, as you listen to the words that she and everyone else has to say today, we need you to leave here with a fire in your heart and the knowledge that if we come together, if we work together, and if we believe, Tanya Kabbalah will be the next representative for the 91st District here in the state of Michigan. Thank you very much.